Here we have a retirement problem and we know how much is needed each year and we know how many years this is needed. We also have a, an expected discount rate that's, uh, that, that the retirement account is going to earn. And so we are asked for what we would need, so a single cash value in the retirement account one year before the retirement period starts, so one year before the first payment. All right, so let's start with a timeline to get a picture of what is needed. So we've got 25 periods, and in each period we have a $93,000 payment. And, and after the final payment here in time 25, we want nothing left. Okay, we want nothing left. All right, so the question then again is how much do you need in the account one year before the first payment? So we're going to right here on the timeline. Okay, so what are we looking for? We're looking for a PV at time zero. Now this stream, since it's a constant cash amount evenly spaced for a finite number of periods and the first payment is one period from now, now being when we're looking for the value. We have an ordinary annuity, and so all of our uh, annuity formulas and uh, programs and things like that are going to work perfectly. So we just need to find the present value of an ordinary annuity. All right, so use the tool of choice. Uh, I'm going to use my financial calculator here. Okay, so there it is. Um, so let's just uh, take some, some, some quick notes for what's actually going to go into the financial calculator. So going into the financial calculator is what? All right, so first of all, that's going to be my payment. That's the annuity payment. How many payments are there? 25. So 25 is going to be in. There is my discount rate. So I is going to equal 5. Remember, we enter 5, not 0.05. Um, the financial calculator likes things to be entered in percent. And then what about FV? So FV is going to be entered as 0 because there is nothing else happening here in time 25 other than the payment, which is already covered by the payment key. And so we're going to solve for the PV. So we're going to solve for the PV and expect a negative number. We're going to get a negative number here because your calculator has to balance inflows and outflows in order to work. And so we're going to think about, uh, we'll enter the 93,000 as positive numbers. So that's going to be money that's coming into your pocket from the account. The PV is what you would have to put in the account to fund this. And so that's going to go out of your pocket into the account. Right, so those are going in opposite directions. All right, so let's uh, now just enter these one at a time and find the answer. So 93,000 goes into PMT, zero goes into FV, five goes into I, and 25 goes into N. We can compute the PV, and there is the answer. So. $1,310,736.84. And now, of course, when you're, uh, when you're giving me an answer like this, you're going to need to give it to me as a positive number.